Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, another Shop My Stash. Yeah, we had pretty good products this week. We had a ton of products this week, actually. And I kind of got through some of it, but then some of it I didn't. So some of the stuff I will be rolling over another week. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I do upload three times a week on Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss out. And if you want to see what I'm going to be picking for the week and what I thought about the products I used last week, then just continue watching. So the first two items I left down here, the foundation this week that I used was this Full Spectrum CoverGirl Matte Ambition All Day Shine Free Foundation. I have mine in the shade Light Beige. And this is sweat proof, guys. If you are oily, a hot chicken, a hot chicken, a greasy chicken, if you are oily, Definitely pick this up if you can find a shade that matches you. I did do a full face of first impressions. So all of the pro most of the products that are in here are for from that video. So I did use this. If you guys saw my video, you know that this is kind of was orange on me and it still is. I did use a foundation lightener and it still is a lighter orange on me. So unfortunately, I am going to return this. I really like the finish of it, but I feel because it's matte but I feel like it's a little too matte for me at the moment. I could save it for summertime because that's when I'm like the most oiliest. But why am I gonna like save a foundation just for the summertime? Plus it's a little orange on me again. So I do like it. If it didn't oxidize, I would definitely keep it and definitely recommend it. And if it doesn't oxidize on you, I definitely recommend this foundation. But if it turns orange on you, and if you can't find a shade that matches you, I would not pick this up. But it's definitely oil resistant. I was mad for 10 hours. No oils peeked through at all. It was really good. But unfortunately, again, the, the color is just not good for me. It oxidizes. So I am going to return this back to Ulta. And then this was the lightener I used. This is the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD. It says illuminating foundation. This did not even illuminate any foundation. <laughs> well, this CoverGirl one, again, it's so matte. You will not be disappointed if you pick that up if you're oily. But I am going to put this away. Another product I used this week was this one by Wet n Wild. This is the Photo Focus Natural Finish Setting Spray. And this is really nice. I feel like I'm less than halfway, but we are gonna rotate this and pick a new um, spray to use this week. Back here, I have my Physician's Formula Butter Collection Palette in light medium, and this is what it looks like. I didn't use the bronzer because I actually have the butter bronzer in a project pan, so I was using that. I love the butter bronzer. I really like this blush. This highlight is very glittery. This one wasn't glittery as this one was. Um, it's kind of glitter. I don't know if I'm going to keep this in my collection very longer. This was limited edition. And I was thinking I should probably take this out and try to use that. But this is very glittery. This was really nice. It has like a gold, white gold sheen to it. Um, I did enjoy this, but this again was very glittery. We will be putting that away and picking something new. And I think that's it from up here. In my first drawer, I had my brow pencils. I did end up using this one by Joa Beauty, the Precision Brow Pencil in Brunette. And this was the one that I actually tested in the video. I did not use this at all. This is going to be a fail this month for sure. This is by e.l.f., the Ultra Precise Brow Pencil in the shade Brunette. This is red. It's not brunette. But we are going to put this one away. And this one will be going in a bad bin or empties probably. I don't know. I'm going to get rid of that. This is the Ardency and Modster Smooth Ride Supercharged Eyeliner in Grass. I really enjoyed this liner and it's a like bright green. I want to pick up some of those LA Girl like supercharged liners. I don't even know if that's what they're called. I just called it because that's what this <laughs> This is a supercharged liner. The other ones are like vivid liners. I want to pick some of those up because they look really nice. But we are going to put that away. I did use that. And I did use this Pixie by Petra in the shade Matte Beige. It's a really pretty, like, nude, pinkish peach nude color. Um, I like the formula of these a lot. If you guys eye these at Target, pick it up. Don't, like, hesitate. They're really good. I didn't use this again. This is the Milani Matte Glam. I think I'm going to leave this in another week. I didn't use it. 
And this is the Ofra Liquid Lipstick in Verona. I had this in my first impressions video as well. This is a really pretty everyday color. So we are going to put this away and pick something new. I, I'm going to leave this in another week. I'm going to start having two mascaras in my shop, my stash videos. I want to start using up products. I was telling you guys that I'm going to start saving my yearly makeup empties. And I feel like this is almost done because it doesn't really have much. Like the tip is like wet as you can see but the brush isn't so I feel like it's almost out and it's not my favorite mascara so I'm gonna leave it in to try to finish that up I did use this hourglass caution mascara this is really good I don't like how small it is and how like bulky this part is um, I don't know it's just too small for me but I am going to put this away and pick a new mascara to use I also had this NYX jumbo eye pencil in the shade rust it's just like a dark red metallic burgundy color um, I did use this, so I'm going to put this away, and that's all that's up here. In this next draw, I had face products. The first product is this Pixie Glow Cake in Gilded Bear Glow. This was nice. I really enjoyed the blush and the bronzer, but the highlight, I felt like it kind of just sat on my skin. It didn't melt into the skin or anything. It just, like, again, sat on my skin. Um, I don't hate it enough to get rid of it, but I do like it. Would I recommend it? For these two, yes. For the highlight, no. This is the e.l.f. Forever Sun Kiss. This is a primer infused bronzer. This is really pigmented. A little bit goes a long way. So if you pick this up, be very careful when using that. We'll put that away. This is the Catrice Nude Illusion Loose Powder in Transparent Matte. Transparent Matte. This definitely has kept me matte. I used it with the CoverGirl Foundation, which is already matte. It was extra matte. I used it today with my... Um, Foundation I have up here, the Lancome, that I'm trying to use up because it's almost out and my skin is still matte. I did have some oils peek through a little bit on my nose, but other than that, like, my skin is pretty matte. It's not, like, dry matte or anything, but it has keep me, like, a nice natural matte finish. I really like this powder, so I'm going to put this away and pick something new. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and this is the Tatcha Silk Canvas. I do find that the Tatcha is more, like, silky on the skin and I felt... When I used this primer under the CoverGirl foundation, my skin just didn't look as beautiful as it does when I use this one. Um, they're pretty comparable, but I feel like Touch is a little better than the e.l.f. one. Um, we are going to put these away and pick a new primer to use this week. For concealers, I had two. I just had both of these, but I mostly just used this one. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Northern Concealer. I have mine in the shade... Cashmere and Cashew. Cashew is too dark for me and Cashmere is a little light, but it works for me. I am going to keep Cashmere, but I am going to return Cashew to Ulta. I picked both of these up because I wasn't sure what color I was when I ordered online, but I'm definitely more this color than this one. So I am again going to return Cashew. Guys, guess what? This is the Sephora uh, Matte Perfection Powder Foundation in the shade Warm Beige. And look, Finally, use this baby up. This will be going in my empties. I did enjoy that. I would repurchase that, but I have a lot of powder foundations to use, so I won't be purchasing it anytime soon, but I will definitely purchase that. Um, this is in my Project Pen Tarte CC Corrector. I'm going to leave that in there. I'm also going to leave this in here. This is the Tarte Blush Book, and I only used this one and this one, and they were pretty pigmented and nice. I haven't used anything else. Oh, the highlight I did use one day i didn't find it super blinding so i want to test this out a little more so we won't be picking blush for the week um we're just gonna keep that one in here i had the pixie glow cake and then i had the one from the physicians like palette so i had a lot of blush to work with this week so again we aren't gonna pick blush because we're gonna leave that in there this is the elf white gold i think it's like a metallic flare highlight i don't know what i think about this I felt like it kind of just sat on my skin at first, but I just feel like this color is too light for me. So I am going to keep it different. If you're like light medium skin tone, I feel if you like light highlights, then pick this up. But I kind of feel like it's too light for me. So I kind of didn't feel like it melted into the skin. It just sat on the skin. So I think I would pick up like the gold one if I picked up another one. If I recommended another one, I would probably recommend the gold one if you're like around my skin tone. And this is the Suva Beauty Hydra Liner in the shade Grease. This I like because you activate it with water. It's hard and then you just kind of wet your brush and put it in there and it like 
the color comes out but it's not super black it's kind of like a gray black i tried like building it up but since you activate it with water it kind of comes off when you're trying to build it up so this wasn't really my favorite i'm definitely going to pick something that's more dark and opaque and i already know which one i want to pick which is the balm swing liquid liner that one is my favorite so i'm going to pick that one this week but i do also have a whole bunch of these i showed you guys last week i have like 10 of them i think and I like the bright UV ones. Those ones are really good. But if you're wanting like a really dark black, I don't think this is it. I use this today. This is the LA Colors Iced Pigment Powder in Glowing. Um, it's, This is super metallic. I definitely want to pick more of those up. And then the last two products I have in here were palettes. Um, this is the Too Faced Chocolate Hold Bar. As you can see, I only use this one, this one, and that one. So I am going to leave this in another week. But we are going to pick a new palette to use with it. And then Subculture. So I've tried this product before. And I returned it back to Ulta because I just thought it was too much work. And it was just super powdery. And then I kind of was like, I love the color scheme. Let me try it again. And I totally forgot how powdery this was. But this is what the inside looks like. And the first day that I used this, I thought this would be a perfect palette to put in like a pan that palette. Because you will be finishing up shadows so fast that you will meet all of your goals with this palette. But I really did enjoy all the colors in here. It's again super powdery so go very light-handed but i did enjoy this palette i love the colors in here the only color that i kind of felt like i had trouble with was i think this one called fudge it was kind of like patchy on my crease when i was trying to blend it out i don't think it was this one because it doesn't look like i used it i think it was that one and this one's too dark for like highlighting the brow bone, so you can't use that one to highlight. But other than that, I didn't have any issues with any other shades, so I do like this palette. I'm going to keep this. So those are all the products that I used last, this past week, so now let's go ahead and shop my stash. Alright, so we're in my filming slash makeup room. We have my cart. So we're ready to shop my stash. So for palettes, I already know I want to use the Warrior palette. It was the one that I wanted to use in my last shop my stash. I wasn't sure if I want to use this one or a subculture. So since this is all matte shades, we are going to use this and have some shimmer shades for the lid. So again, the Warrior 2 by Juvia's. I'm going to go in the cart. And that is all that we're going to be using in there. In here, I have no idea what we're using. I'm going to use this to highlight this week. This is the Highlighting Powder in Starlight by e.l.f. Hopefully this one's a little better than that metallic one that I got. Um, I heard really good things about this. So again, we'll be also taking this. And I think that's it from in there. In here, any new products I want to use? Maybe we should try this other um, new highlight. I have one of these in number three i believe this is the milani strobe light in afterglow it's like a pinky color i don't know if you guys can tell i'll see you can see it a little better right there so we'll have like a gold and like a pinky color to use this week i actually have a few things here on my desk i want to use this a little more this is the milani conceal and perfect long wear concealer i have mine in the shade light vanilla and i also have light beige but light vanilla is a little better for me so we'll be taking this and then we're also going to be taking the Fenty concealer this is a pro filter instant retouch concealer and I have mine in the shade 180 um, and then I also did pick up the powder this is the pro filter instant retouch setting powder and I picked mine in the shade butter um, let me know if you guys want to see a review on this I do plan I'm planning on filming a review on these two products on Monday, but you guys will be seeing this video on Saturday, so let me know if you guys do want to see that so I can go ahead and do that. And I do have a review or first impressions on on this Milani concealer, so check it out. It's already up on my channel. So for foundation, we're going to go ahead and use the Fenty Beauty one again. I do have mine in the shade 180. I did swatch the concealer, and I felt like it was a little too like i don't know the color was a little off so i'm gonna again try it out and go from there but in foundation i do have the shade 180 um since we're right here for setting sprays we're going to take um i was thinking we should probably use this one but the sprayer on this like it's stuck 
but I guess we'll have to deal with that. So this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Finish Setting Spray. So we'll take this for setting sprays. We don't need concealer, but we do need a mascara. So I am going to take this mascara right here. This is the Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. And I need to go grab my cart so I can put this away. But we'll be taking this. For brows this week, what should we use? I was kind of thinking to use like a brow powder, but maybe I will. Let's use this. This is the Brow Pal Eyebrow Powder by The Balm in the shade Dark Brown. And I don't ever really use clear brow gels, but let's go ahead and use a clear brow gel as well. This is the Anastasia Brow Gel. And we're going to do this too. This is the Benefit High Brow. Um, yeah, we're going to try to use all these products this week. In here we have primer. Ooh, let's see, primer. I've been wanting, I feel like I don't have that much left in here. So I want to use this up, or try, hope, anyways. This is the Becca First Light Priming Filter. And as you can see right here, I do have a full size that I picked up during the 50% um, off sales that Ulta had. So we are going to use this for primer this week. And then here's powder. We have that powder. I'm going to use it for everything, so hopefully it works out. Bronzer. I don't have a bronzer. Um, let's take this one. This is a ColourPop one. I don't. I think it's Private Party. This is what it is. I believe I'm pretty. I'm like 90% sure this is Private Party. So again, we'll take this for bronzer this week. And what else we got? Blush. We don't need blush again because we have that tart lip book. Highlight. We have two highlights already. Liner, okay, we gotta pick the bomb swing because we gotta get like an opaque black liner this week. This is my favorite liner, and what else do we want? Color, what are we doing this week? Oh, let's use this one. This is the Steel um, Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Deep Fuchsia. I like this color a lot, so we'll use that. And then we'll take this black one too. Did I use this last week or a couple weeks ago? I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember, so we'll just take it. This is the Kiko Milano Intense Longwear in the shade. Um, it's just a black color. Should we pick a glitter this week? We've kind of been skipping glitter like every week, right? What should we use? Let's take this one. This one looks really pretty. This is the Pixie by Petra in the shade Passion Light. Yep. It's kind of different, like a bronzy gold glitter one. So we'll take this for glitter this week. And then face palettes. I think we're good. I think we just need to pick lipstick and we're done. Should probably use like my deeper tones. What do we got here? Raging Raisin. Oh, you know what? I want to use this. This is the Nude Stick Metallic. Magnetic Matte Lip Color in the shade Burgundy. So we'll be taking these, or this lippy. Should we pick another one? We got that purple one. Let's go for this. This is the Lime Crime Velvet Lipstick, I believe. Matte Velvet in the shade Jinx. So we'll take these two lippies this week. So this is what my cart is looking like. I'm going to go ahead and put all of these products in my in my acrylic drawers and I'll show you guys how everything is looking like. So up here I do have my my foundation and my setting spray. I'm like packed. I started my project pan this year so I have so many items. So here are all of the products I will be using. I have my mascara, my liners, my lippy products. This one is the nude stick in burgundy. This is the Milani Matte Glam that I didn't use last week and then this one's the Lime Crime in Jinx. So that is all that I have in here. In this next drawer, I have my Fenty powder, my bronzer, my highlight, my corrector, sunscreen, primer, and my two concealers I'll be using this week and testing out a little more. Down here, I have my blush book, my two palettes, my glitter, and then my brow thing is down here. You guys can barely see it. So those are all the products that I had in this week's Shop My Stash video. 
Let me know down below if you have a Shop My Stash going up soon or have one just barely up. I do mine weekly, so yeah, let me know down below if you have one and I'll go ahead and check it out. I really like watching Shop My Stash videos. I like to see everybody's collection because I'm a little nosy. <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.